Kirk Laughlin down here in Buenos Aires, Argentina, speaking with the Minister of Science, Technology, and Innovation, Lino Baranau. And uh, welcome, welcome uh, to Nearshore Americas, Lino. Great to see you. Good to see you. And uh, the thing I wanted to start out with today was an understanding of uh, talent development in Argentina. Uh, you have something around 60,000 folks working in the uh, IT technology sector, and you just told me a few minutes ago you need about 7,000 new graduates every year to meet the need. So tell me about what you're specifically doing to tackle that issue. Try to, uh, first of all, lure youngsters into computer science um, by several means. We provide um, fellowships for um, undergraduates to pursue um, in careers related to information technology in many universities of the country. And that's sponsored by a grant from the World Bank, and it's going on well. We also are trying to modify the traditional archetype of the computer scientists uh, through um, uh, several programs in a new TV channel we're going to launch in, in a few months, sponsored by our ministry. The idea is to show young people doing working in computers and science companies or studying information technology related um, careers show they are normal people very clever they, that they have fun um, and also we want to show that they, they can have um, a very well paid jobs uh, if they uh, are able to um, I mean, get a degree in, in those careers. What we've seen in the U.S. market is a lot of active promotion from some of the big markets out of Brazil, Mexico, Costa Rica, Colombia. In meetings in the last few days with Globant and Neoris, Softec, uh, Grupo Asa, among those discussions, people are saying Argentina is still sort of the best kept secret in nearshore outsourcing. Do you, are you concerned about the fact that it's almost perceived as a secret that you've got such a good story to tell here? Yeah. <coughs> I guess this, uh, that characterization, characterization is right. Um, we are still a kind of um, boutique vineyard in terms of the wine industry. Not well known as the Ch Chilean wines, but with top quality wines. And the same is true for in the, in the computer uh, science. We have uh, top quality uh, human resources. Um, uh, for instance, uh, the local offices of IBM got the highest qualification in terms of uh, international terms two weeks before the, the local office in India. So out of your ministry, you obviously have your hands on a lot of different areas, not just technology and IT and things like that. But nonetheless, how much is this particular issue on the mind of President Kirchner and how much are you personally advocating on behalf of, of this sector? Well, I would like to, <clears throat> to mention that the, the creation of the ministry was a personal decision of uh, President Cristina Fernandez. Um, and that's part of the, uh, of the new model for, for Argentina, where science and technology is a key component. I mean, she stresses the need for uh, adding value to our exports, to promoting technological developments, to diversify our economy. So um, the increase in the, in the budget shows that this is not just a declaration, that they are convinced, the government is convinced of the importance of supporting science as a way to improve the quality of life of the Argent Argentinians. Okay, final question. Obviously, something must be going right because you have big firms like Intel, Motorola, and IBM, well, really Oracle. Uh, what are you doing to uh, induce those companies to come here? What, what, what's the unique uh, proposition that you think has made it attractive to them? We have many in incentives. In, in, I mean, different cities in Argentina provide uh, different benefits for, for big companies to uh, settle uh, their research and development facilities. Um, we are, are um, providing highly qualified human resources. Um, also, we are um, promoting the, cre the um, creation of uh, new companies, new startups that will provide services to the, the, the multinational companies. And the whole atmosphere of um, uh, is, uh, is, I think, is, is a competitive advantage of Argentina. I mean, the quality of life here is, uh, is very attractive for I mean, people coming from different parts of the world. Um, 
and we have it, we are in the same time zone and in the US so that provides another advantage. The the cultural affinity is also uh, significantly uh, different from other parts of, part of the world. So uh, I think we have many advantages. And that, I mean, that those companies are not f philanthropic. I mean, they they decide to to look at Argentina because there 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 might be some real benefits. Absolutely. Well, I wish you the best on this journey. Fabulous city. Great to see you in Buenos Aires. 